Professor Topaz, I have been delegated to confer on you, all too tardily, that honor which you have merited by your work in the field of science, the academic palms. The, uh, the, p the palms. Oh, oh, just a moment, gentlemen. I've got gentlemen, Dr. Topaz is a man of deeds, not words. He's overcome. Out of respect for his feelings, gentlemen, will you make the ceremony as brief as possible? What's the matter with him? He's drunk. Hurry up. Professor Auguste A. Topaz, teacher, scholar, scientist and author, for your diligence, for your learning, for your humanitarian labors, as head of the Latour Chemical Works, I, Henri de Serville, in the name of the Republic, confer on you the insignia of the academic palms. Count de L'Espinasse, first assistant head of Bureau of Awards and Merits. Professor Antoine Bouillon, second assistant head of Bureau of Awards and Merits. Monsieur Hector Tenet, third assistant head of Bureau of Awards and Merits. Colonel Robert Chateauneuf de Fep, Colonel Timoleon de la Rochefontaine, assistant commissioners of Scholastic Awards and Merits. Congratulations, my dear professor. You? You are the Republic of France? I'm a member of the government, Professor. And you gentlemen are friends of the Baron? Not only friends, my dear Topaz, but uh, business associates. Oh, I see. I understand. I think you'd better thank them. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Speech! 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 I can merely say I have dreamed for many years of this honor. I always thought it uh, would be the happiest moment of my life. When it came, if it ever did come, in fact, I wrote out a speech long ago. It's in my laboratory now, expressing my true feelings. But uh, it wouldn't fit. It would sound too humorous. I... Uh, I am afraid I have outgrown that oration in the last few moments. So you will forgive me for not speaking it. I would rather say merely, thank you, gentlemen. It is more than I deserve. Bravo, 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 no. Now I'm what they call a great man. I am not Topaz. Topaz lies dead in an alley. Look. Can't you see how different I am? I am a distinguished scientist. I am a man of honor. I have been decorated by the Republic. I wear the palm. Coco, do you know of a good barber? Very becoming. 
ravishing, Auguste. Do you, do you like it? Ravishing. Perfect. Exquisite. Uh, is the back snug? Like a glove. It, uh, for the races. Look, it, it has a double-breasted waistcoat. I trust you're comfortable, sir. No, oh, you do, eh? Dr. Topaz sends word. He will contact you in five minutes. Mm, well, I'm on it. Now listen, you incarnate prickly heat. Ask Topaz what he means by making me wait 25 minutes. The man has delusions of grandeur. Ah, uh, Dr. Stay? Yes. It is now a matter of 20 minutes to a half an hour. Uh, tell him we are quite comfortable. Thank you. Gentlemen, patience. Oh dear, I've been waiting here 35 minutes. I've been here over an hour. What a busy man. Oh no, I just pretend I'm busy. I flutter in and out constantly and keep barking. You know, uh, if one has time to listen to people, they have no respect for one. One must be uh, elusive. I've kept Dr. Steg waiting 20 minutes already. In another half hour, he'll be in complete awe of me. Dr. Stegg, isn't that the wretch who... Who threw you're... me out of his school? It is. Now he wants me to honor him by attending his graduation exercises this afternoon and distributing the prizes among his pupils. Fancy. <laughs> Would you like to come along? Oh, that'll be fun. But you might have called for me. Instead of summoning me here like a tyrant, it's better manners. My dear Coco, in a crisis, one omits a bow or two. You're in a crisis? Well, not yet. But in a few minutes. I'd, uh, I'd love to share a crisis with you. Do you mind if I sit here? It, uh, it makes me feel more effective. <laughs> Do be effective. Send the Baron de la Tour la Tour in, please. Auguste, what are you up to? The most frightful villainy. Shh. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I don't mind humoring you, Topaz, but don't overdo it. Well, what are you doing here? Visiting. I sent for her. I have a matter of grave importance to take up, sir. Hmm, what a man. Always flinging matters of grave importance at my head. Coco, do you mind sitting over there so I can't see you? Certainly not. Is, is this the crisis? It begins now. Oh, what sort of uh, charades are these? I am just uh, trying to think how to begin the matter. A of, disciple uh, of mine should always come to the point immediately. Thank you, sir. I am receiving 8,000 francs a month as chief of the Latour Chemical Works. Uh, we both know they are non-existent. Uh, proceed. You, really, if I took my job seriously, I should have nothing to do at all. So I have decided I should be more honestly employed as... cigarette? No, thanks. As a partner. What? What are you raving about? I am asking you, sir, for a third interest in this thriving concern. Topaz, you delight me. Such effrontery is refreshing. I am very much afraid, sir, that you underestimate me. I repeat my request ominously. Ominously? Topaz, do you realize how much a third interest in the business would be? To a fraction, sir. Coco, I'm disappointed in our little professor. He's had a relapse. He's as absurd as ever. I see there is nothing to be gained by, uh, by words. Dr. Baum? Uh-huh. Draw 12, file 12, 